Hello and welcome to the Dundas Dashboard tutorial series. In this video, Development Environment, I'll be showing you the environment in which you'll be creating your dashboards in Dundas Dashboard. So I'd like to familiarize you with the home screen that you'll be encountering when you open up Dundas for the first time. There'll be concepts here that will be covered in later videos in this tutorial series. So when you open up a browser and type in the URL of your Dundas Dashboard instance, which you selected during your installation, you'll be presented with this screen. I'm logged in as the administrator, so there's extra content here that developers or viewers will not be able to see. In the middle of the screen, in what we call the content pane, what's presented here is our workflow, which will be covered in the next video. Basically, these are the four broad steps that you'll be following to create a dashboard. On the left-hand side of the screen, we have the sidebar. And as I'm logged in as an administrator, I have a number of different elements that will be displayed here. Viewers and developers will have a different selection. First, there's the Design Explorer, which shows me all of the projects that are available to me and all of the elements that make up that project. I also have access to the Administration pane and my bookmarks. On the top of the screen is a toolbar. Now, this will be persistent in all views of Dundas, whether you're an administrator, designer, or developer, or a viewer, depending on the viewer that you select. And there'll be shortcuts here that are related to whatever content you're developing. So right now on the home screen it's just the ability to log out, a little bit of navigation, and managing my profile. If I click on this element of the workflow and enter the performance dashboard development environment, the screen will look like this. I still have my content pane, my sidebar, and my toolbar with some additional options around dashboard editing, but now the properties grid is viewable. For the visual elements on a dashboard, the properties grid will show you everything that you can modify, the size, shape, color, even interactivity. This will all be covered in a later section of the tutorial series. So that's the development environment, which you'll be spending quite a bit of time in when you're developing your Dundas dashboards. If you have any additional questions about this or our training series, you can contact us at training at dundas.com. For technical inquiries or to look up any of the terms that I've used in this video, you can visit our support site at support.dundas.com. Thank you.